Alrighty, so let's head on over to Carowinds and look at Copperhead Strike. It looks like, and from what Carowinds is reporting, Copperhead Strike has been completed. The iron work for Copperhead is done. Obviously, there's a lot more work to um, be completed on Copperhead Strike for it to open. Um, and I'm going to go over a few things. So I have been hearing a few enthusiasts talking about, oh, Copperhead Strike's going to open earlier than, you know, March or for the new year, and that's not the case. Um, in terms of construction, yeah, the ironwork for Copperhead is done, but they have so much more to do before this coaster is anywhere near done. Um, so to be honest, I wouldn't even say they're ahead. I would say they're on time. They have a lot of electrical to do. They have the launch trends to completely finish. They have the theming. Then they have the electrical. The store needs to go up. Um, the flyers need to be finished. Uh, the complete queue line, which is massive, may I add, needs to be done as well. And then you have to wait for the trains to arrive. You have all those tests they need to complete. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't even seen the clearance envelope. I mean, the track was just completed, but there's no clearance envelope. They haven't done any of that yet. So this coaster is nowhere near done, despite the ironwork being done. Um, so still lots to do. I just wanted to uh, talk about that quickly um, for anyone that was questioning whether Copperhead was way ahead of schedule. No, I think they always had intent to have it done early. I think they do want to test it in colder weather. Um, so I do think that, you know, maybe a month from now, um, we may see some tests on this coaster um, because obviously they're going to want to test it in colder months for uh, Winterfest next year. Um, but yeah, it looks impressive. Uh, the barns are going up and they look great. Um, they're going up a lot quicker than I was actually anticipating, I, especially since we haven't seen anything over at Yukon Striker in terms of station building and theming and all that. Um, but so excited. Uh, the coaster looks absolutely stunning, especially in the photos that Carowinds post. Um, all the footage used is from the webcam or Carowinds Facebook page. So I'll link the Facebook page down below. Go and check out their photos because this thing is impressive. Um, it definitely takes up a bigger footprint than I was actually uh, picturing from the animation. Uh, the colors are uh, outstanding. And uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to find out hashtag what's in the barn, I think is what they started two days ago. Um, I am hearing rumblings, though, that the track work isn't fully complete. From what I've heard, the um, transfer track hasn't been installed yet. Um, so I, I, I don't know too much about that again someone in carowinds or their home park as carowinds would know more about that but i am hearing from carowinds fans and people that frequent the park that the uh, transfer track isn't done or installed yet so i don't know if the track is actually 100 percent complete um like being said but nonetheless it looks like a very impressive ride i'm so excited that it was completed um or mostly completed um, and yeah, I can't wait to ride this thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick construction update on the completion of Copperhead Strike. Uh, don't forget to subscribe down below for construction projects across parks um, in North America and even in Europe and Asia now. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.